The last video I posted was about how AMD completely beat Intel. Ryzen, the new designs, the whole story. Intel was losing ground everywhere. And then, out of nowhere, I saw this news. Intel and NVIDIA are teaming up. Yes, you heard that right. NVIDIA is putting $5 billion into Intel. Yes, five with nine zeros. And now they're going to build custom chips together. I had to read it twice. And honestly, I had a little nerdy freak out moment because this changes a lot more than just the stock market. I will explain it all, so get ready. So why is this such a big deal? To understand, we need to go back a little. For decades, Intel ruled CPUs like an absolute king. Every PC you bought had that little blue sticker that said Intel inside, and people trusted that brand without question. AMD existed, sure, but it was always the underdog, fighting to stay relevant. Meanwhile, Nvidia was quietly building its empire in the background. Gamers love their graphics cards, but nobody really realized that Nvidia was slowly becoming the powerhouse that would dominate AI, deep learning, and even cloud computing. Fast forward to the last decade. Intel started to stumble. Big delays on their 10 nanometer chips. Apple leaving them for their own silicon. AMD coming back swinging with Ryzen and EPYC. Suddenly, Intel was no longer untouchable. They went from being the benchmark for CPUs to looking like the company struggling to keep up. And while Intel stumbled, NVIDIA exploded. Their GPUs went from being just for gaming to powering AI models like ChatGPT, self-driving cars, and massive cloud AI servers. Intel, meanwhile, was kind of stuck in the past, still doing what they always did best, but missing the new wave. And that's why this partnership is so shocking. Intel didn't just release a new CPU or a small update. They called NVIDIA and said, hey, maybe we should work together. And NVIDIA said yes. This is Intel trying to make a comeback, NVIDIA expanding their influence. And we, the consumers, could end up with something amazing. So here's what's actually happening. Intel is going to design custom x86 CPUs for NVIDIA's AI servers. That might sound boring if you're not a tech nerd, but it's huge. Normally, NVIDIA relies on off-the-shelf CPUs to pair with their GPUs. Now, Intel will build processors specifically tailored for NVIDIA's AI workloads. That means faster calculations, better efficiency, and less wasted energy. But the really exciting part is what's coming for everyday PCS. Intel is going to make system-on-chips that integrate NVIDIA RTX GPU chiplets. In simple terms, instead of having a separate CPU and GPU in your computer, Intel and NVIDIA will fuse them together on the same chip. Think of it like turning two separate Lego pieces into a single super piece that's stronger, faster, and more efficient. The benefits are obvious. Smaller laptops, less heat, lower power consumption, and high-end performance, even on devices that wouldn't normally be able to handle it. And to show this isn't just talk, NVIDIA is putting $5 billion into Intel stock. That's not a casual handshake. That's a full-on bet that Intel can make this work. Now, let's break down how this kind of collaboration is even possible, in a way that makes sense without needing a PhD in chip design. First, there's something called NVLink, NVIDIA's technology, for super fast connections between chips. By using NVLink, Intel CPUs, and NVIDIA GPUs can talk to each other faster than normal motherboard connections. It's like giving the CPU and GPU their own private highway instead of forcing them to share a congested street. Then, there's the idea of chiplets. Modern processors aren't always built as one big piece of silicon anymore. They're more like a collection of smaller pieces, chiplets, that are combined to behave like one super chip. Intel can provide a CPU chiplet, NVIDIA can provide a GPU chiplet, and advanced packaging techniques make sure they work together efficiently while controlling heat and power. And speaking of packaging, that's where Intel really shines. They have decades of experience in manufacturing and putting multiple chiplets together on a single package. By combining Intel's packaging technology with NVIDIA's GPU expertise, it's possible to make a hybrid chip that works seamlessly, something that would have been extremely difficult just a few years ago. Finally, there's the x86 ecosystem. By sticking with Intel CPUs, 
NVIDIA ensures that all the Windows software, enterprise applications, and gaming titles we rely on continue to work without glitches. There's no need to worry about compatibility problems. This is one of the smartest moves for consumer adoption because it means these new hybrid chips could work in all the devices we already use. So why does Intel need this? Because after years of losing ground, they need relevance. AMD has been eating their lunch. Apple showed that integrated CPU plus GPU silicon can dominate, and NVIDIA's AI dominance is only growing. Intel still has the manufacturing power in the ecosystem, but they needed a partner to push them back to the front. NVIDIA is that partner. And why does NVIDIA need Intel? Because NVIDIA doesn't make CPUs. Their GPUs are incredible, but for a complete platform, AI servers, AI-ready consumer PCs, cloud services, you need CPUs. Intel brings x86 compatibility, manufacturing scale, and packaging expertise. Together, they cover the entire computing stack, which is why this partnership makes sense from a business and technical standpoint. Now, let's talk about what this means for us, the consumers. Imagine a laptop in 2026 or 2027 with an Intel CPU and RTX GPU fused on the same chip. Gaming laptops could be thinner, lighter, and still pack serious performance. AI applications like real-time translation, video editing, I could run locally on your laptop without eating all your battery or forcing you to use cloud servers. Even mid-range laptops could suddenly feel like premium machines, something that was almost impossible a few years ago. And AMD? Yeah, they're probably sweating right now. Their Ryzen plus Radeon combo has been Intel's biggest competition for years. This isn't just about PCS or chips. It's about power and control in the AI era. AI is exploding everywhere. Every company wants to control the entire stack. CPUs, GPUs, software, cloud infrastructure. Intel and NVIDIA teaming up is a massive power move. Think about Apple's M-series chips. By integrating CPU and GPU cores, they completely changed laptops. Intel and NVIDIA are trying to do something similar, but with x86 compatibility, which means Windows users and enterprise applications can benefit too. For us, that could mean laptops that are faster, smaller, more efficient, smarter, and capable of running AI applications locally. Maybe prices could even become competitive because Intel and Nvidia will want to sell as many of these hybrid chips as possible. Of course, there are still questions. How will AMD respond? Will regulators allow this kind of close collaboration? Can Intel and NVIDIA cooperate long-term without their goals diverging? These are all things we'll have to watch over the next few years. But one thing is clear. Two giants who were once fierce rivals are now allies. And when that happens, the tech world changes. CPUS, GPUS, AI, cloud services, laptops, everything could shift dramatically. Intel wants a comeback, NVIDIA wants more control, and we, the users, might get devices that feel way ahead of their time. The big question is, will AMD survive this pressure, or will Intel and NVIDIA dominate the next era of computing? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure. This is one of the most exciting tech stories in years, and if you're a PC or AI enthusiast, you'll want to keep an eye on how this unfolds.